Okay, everybody, got another firearm here. This is my baby. I love her so much. This is the Mossberg 590. It has 18 inch barrel, composite plastic stock. This receiver here is aircraft aluminum. The trigger housing here is polymer or plastic. And this one is loaded. It is loaded. I will not be operating the gun whatsoever. No worries at all there. Here's your safety. If it's back, you're on safe. You click this forward, you'll see a little red dot right here. And uh, red, if you see red on a firearm, red means dead. Always remember that. The top of the receiver is drilled and tapped. I can take these little screws out here and put me some kind of mount here to put a red dot side on it. Whatever I want. It holds six rounds in the tube plus one in the chamber. So you get seven rounds with this gun. And this is what the military uses. Although, this is the civilian model, the 590. The military model, if you have that one, it will say 590A1 right here. And man, I want one of those so bad too. But, you know, I had to get this. I got this on Black Friday for 375 bucks. It was discounted like $400. And I saw it, and at first I thought it was the, Ma the Maverick 88, the entry-level Mossberg. But no, it was it said 590 on the tag, and I was like, oh man, I gotta have that. That's awesome. This little cap here, you take that off, you can clean your magazine. If you if you take this off, there's a spring inside of here that holds your rounds in. When you take that off, please, guys, please watch your eyes and your face. Control this as it's coming out because that spring will ooh, that spring has a lot of tension in there and it will it will come flying out at you and it can hit you in the eyeball it can hit you in the face it can cause some serious injury so what kind of markings do we have on this we have Mossberg chambered for two and three quarter and three inch shells 12 gauge 18 and a half inch barrel Cylinder bore. So cylinder bore is the barrel down here, the round part. It is cylinder. You can shoot buckshot, you can shoot birdshot, you can shoot slugs, as long as they are foster rifled slugs. If you have, this is a, uh, I guess you'd call it tactical because it's all black. But uh, if you have the field model that has the wooden stock here. You will have choke tubes that go inside of here. The first choke tube they give you is improved cylinder. A little bit tighter than this. And then there's modified where it goes a little bit tighter. And then improved modified, it goes a little more tight. And then full choke. It's full constriction of the muzzle. Do not shoot slugs with that. And do not shoot slugs with improved modified. <laughs> You might be okay at modified, I don't know, but if you're going to be shooting slugs and stuff, I would just recommend go ahead and get you a cylinder bore shotgun. These come in 18 and a half inch barrel, or you can get them all the way up to 26 inch barrel. And uh, one thing about that, 18 and a half inch barrel is the legal length. If you cut this barrel off any shorter than 18 and a half inch, you're going to jail. <laughs> Don't do it. Do not do it. So down in here, this here is your elevator for your shells right there. See the little brass piece? That's the back of the shell. So you put your six in here. The gun will not operate. It's stuck, right? It won't move. Well, it's supposed to be a pump action. You're supposed to go 
back and forward, and it chambers around. It will not operate unless you push this little button right here. You hold that, then you rack your slide back and forth. It brings the shell onto this elevator. This slides back. When you push forward, it the bolt goes forward. The elevator comes up. And it pushes the round into the chamber. So you can shoot in this gun. It says right here. Chambered for two and three quarter. And three inch shells. So you can shoot either length that you may find in a gun store. They also make three and a half inch magnum shells. Do not put those in here. If it does not say three and a half inch shell, do not use it. I mean, yeah, you could, you could shoot it if you can get it in there. But then when you rack to throw your shell out here, this opening is too small. <laughs> the shell will not come out. And then you're in trouble. You have to take the whole gun apart. <laughs> so first steps of taking the gun apart, this little pin right here. You can take your screwdriver or some sharp object, push this pin. It will come out the other side right here. Right there. And then this piece on both sides holds in your shell elevator. And then once you take that out, this little metal piece here comes out. And then you can take your action, your action bar out. So this gun has dual action bars. There's one that runs here. And one that runs here. A lot of your old shotguns, your old pump actions, will only have one of these. And they are notorious for breaking. Then the gun's rendered useless. So they invented the dual action, the dual action bars, one there and one here, to alleviate that issue. And then this fore end here, this piece, you can change it out with this little spanner nut right here. You unscrew, take, take this out, take it off, unscrew the spanner nut, and this forend will come off the tube, and you can change it out to whatever forend that will fit a Mossberg 500, Mossberg 590, or 590A1. Anything you want. These guns are amazing. They're the most utilitarian gun you can possibly find. Replacement parts for all of this. Relatively cheap. You can find them all over the place. And here's the recoil pad for that. For this gun. And it says Mossberg on it. Very nice. <laughs> That's really nice for when you're shooting those, those big 3 inch shells. Boy, they really kick. But now if you put some number 8, number 7, 7.5 birdshot game loads in this. 2 and 3 quarter inch rounds. She ain't going to kick you too much. It's very comfortable to shoot. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to break you. It's not going to break your shoulder. Unless you have the wrong grip. And not so tight to your shoulder here. It could potentially hurt you. But it's very unlikely. So what else can we say about this thing? Aircraft aluminum. Like I said. Okay, here we go. Uh, nope. Here we go. This is what I wanted to show the last time that I had my rifle down. This gun does have clear warning labels. Before use, read the owner's manual and take appropriate operation steps. Eagle Pass, Texas. Hmm, that's very weird. I thought Mossberg was made in, in, uh, what is that place? New Haven, Connecticut? Is it? Yeah, Mossberg 590. There it is. Oh, no way. North Haven, Connecticut. So, some of these parts. This is a little bit cheaper version. Right. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I'm half asleep, guys. Sorry. But there's a cheaper version of this gun. 
the more expensive one is the 598 one. This is a civilian model, so it's got a little bit cheaper parts in it. So, but that does not mean that this gun is going to let you down and it's not going to work. It's a piece of crap. No, absolutely not. Mossberg makes an absolutely wonderful, wonderful gun. For their shotguns. Now, their rifles and pistols, I'm not too keen on. But I also have, let me spin around, another Mossberg here. It's 20 gauge. The step down from the good old 12. And then right up there is a Remington 870 12 gauge. We'll do a video on this one too. Up at the top there, look at that evil looking magazine sticking out of that thing. Guys, that's a 22. And we'll do a video on that. It's a Ruger. So, back to this one. These guns, like, you keep them clean, you know, they, they, they run. If they get dirty and gummed up, they run. Like, I shot my last Mossberg I owned. I probably put, oh man, 500 rounds through that thing before I even touched it with a cleaning kit. And it's still pumping them out of there as fast as you can rack that slide and pull that trigger. Man, it just, it's, they never let me down. And I will take a Mossberg over any shotgun company out there. I love this thing. And so, how did the military get to use the Mossberg? So they had trials for the shotgun division. Apparently, this is my knowledge on it that I have learned a little bit about. This gun is the only gun that passed the rigorous testing that they put these guns through for the military. And that consists of a thousand rounds without a single malfunction or failure of the firearm whatsoever. No major breakages that would render the firearm useless say this action bar breaks it's still gonna work because you got another one here if they both break then yeah the gun's out of action can't do anything these are these plastic trigger housings notorious for busting right here and they'll fall out and so the a1 the 590 a1 is aluminum here aircraft aluminum this is plastic and to take this out is that little pin right there. This is the first thing to come out when you do your uh, disassembly on it. This holds, this piece holds in your cartridge stop and cartridge interrupter. So the cartridge stop is so that when it's on the elevator going into the chamber, none of the other shells here will come out. The cartridge interrupter right here holds the shells in place inside the magazine. And I think I told you about the magazine. You know, six rounds in the tube, one in the chamber. You get seven rounds. To take the barrel off, you simply unscrew this. There's a little metal piece inside of here that holds that spring in place. You can take that out if you choose to. And that's where you have to watch yourself because it can hurt you. But, uh. Got a little bead sight right here. That's the only thing you have to aim with. <laughs> and you'd be surprised how difficult it is to hit something sometimes. When you take this nut off, you unscrew it, it comes off, the barrel will come out. Just be sure that you move your bolt about here, about halfway back. And it's got some, it's got some scuffs on it. This was a display model, so people have been looking at it. Racking it, checking it out, and that's probably another reason why I got it so cheap. But man, I shot it. I shot two or three boxes of shells through this thing. Not a single issue whatsoever. So if you're looking for your first firearm and you want it to be a 12 gauge shotgun, the Mossberg 500 series or this 590, you will not. You will not go wrong. Even the Maverick 88. You will not go wrong. They are amazing, amazing, amazing firearms. Someone's calling me. We'll get back to them in just a minute. But, uh, once again, safety's here. Back is safe. Forward is fire. 
that's about all you can say about it. But this is for the subscriber that asked, and I'll do probably all of my guns. <laughs> but I wanted to get this one up, because this is my baby. I wouldn't take nothing for this gun. It's an amazing firearm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe it's a little informative. And always shoot safe. Always shoot responsibly. One more thing before I let you guys go here. This chambering information here. See where it says 3 inch shells? This is the wrong side. It's over here. See where it says 3 inch shells? Where is it? Right here. 3 inch shells. Do not put those in here. And hand this to someone that's never shot a gun before. And like, hey man, here, shoot this. Don't do that. You're setting them up for failure and hurting themselves. Because those shells really pack a punch on the shoulder. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll get all my guns up on YouTube as long as they don't start blocking them. Hopefully they won't. And I know people say, you shouldn't have ammo in your gun when you're doing a video like this. but I'm not operating the firearm. I'm simply moving it like this, and it's not going to do anything. This gun is not going to hurt me or anyone else unless I pick it up and make it. There you go. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, go out and pick you up one of these. If you're a firearms enthusiast or you want your first shotgun, go for it, man. Amazing firearm. Thanks for watching.